Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. It's that boy G playing. Don't give a damn. He cooler than the fan. Walking real tall. Some say he's man. Yeah, bah, bah, bah. Mm. And so, um, so like the end of February came. I went to Grave Digger. Yeah. So I'm just like, ooh, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, this year is starting off like, bruh. Yeah. Cool deal. So um, I guess around Aprilish, before April, I'm like. Let me put another uh, 420 CD out. So I got Kimmy, and then I was inspired from coming from Salt Lake City. So mm -hmm. I was, I was in my bag in the, in my own studio, like That's bitch me. lock in I because his you. energy. I bet, I bet his energy. How did, I wonder, did he, did he ask you about did fat ever come up? Fat never came up. Okay. It never, no, fat never came up. But Mel did bring him a trill for life chain. Okay. And put it on him, and he wore it for the session. Okay. That's so dope. that was dope. That's yeah, dope. I was just so mad that I couldn't. Lock in my experience, like it's in my head. I couldn't. It's oh, so you didn't get no content? Nothing. Oh, couldn't. my God. Couldn't have. I couldn't have. Wasn't even supposed to be there. Oh, yeah. So, I, and I was just like, I can't believe I come all so the way up here and I ain't got no pictures, no videos, no. You know, so they don't see it, it ain't happening. That's what they say. Like, right, oh, yeah. if it's not documented, you can say whatever you want yeah. to say. Yeah. 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 So I, got a, I got a video of me by the microphone. In there, you know what I'm saying, but I didn't, get, I couldn't, I couldn't have. Like it was, it was no permission for that at all. So I had mm. to lock that priceless ass memory in my head. Like wow. you know what I'm saying, word for word, everything. So it was like, damn. But it was, it was a, a good experience and a way to start off my year after a, a bad year. You know. So you did that. So I did that, and then um. So I get ready, I get prepared for 420 to come up because you know I got the Kimmy Kush yes, I see projects that. or whatever. Mm -hmm. So this is gonna be Kimmy Kush too. So I'm getting prepared early, like early, um, early March. I'm I'm getting the songs together and I'm like, I'm gonna just drop uh, six or seven or whatever. First it's gonna be five, but then I was like, let me I just added two more. And then um so I go to Houston, you know, because my uh stu the studio I have at my house, I can Pack that bitch up in a suitcase and I could roll off, go anywhere, set up. So I took it to Houston uh, by my people. I'm like, let me go finish and mix, mix it and master it and just be in a different environment. So I, I left from here and I went to Houston and I finished that up. I took my dog with me. So I noticed my dog, you know, like she's just uneasy. She's just not herself. Bro, not even a good three or four days being there. My dog dies. I've been having her for 13 years, nigga. Oh, I Matter of fact, today you. is her birthday. Oh, happy it's birthday. It's her 13th birthday. I so happy birthday, you. Fifi. Oh. Mommy miss you so much. Like, How do you take that? I was hurt. Ooh. I was hurt because, you know, I have no kids. Yeah. Can't have kids. Yeah, I remember you told me that. And yeah. so um, my dog was literally my daughter, like my daughter. like, And um, everybody loved her. She was a real smart dog. Um, and so it was so... So that happened, and I didn't want her to. Su I didn't like seeing her suffer, and she was getting old, and she lived. She outlived her, her lifespan. Oh, okay. she, they only lived like eight to ten years, and she was, you know, today she turned thirteen, and so uh, that was like the end of March, and I was just like, "Fuck, man!" It's like I can't get a good groove ever because something always coming. Not say humble me, but I guess it's checks and balances in life. Like with the good, sometimes come the bad, but that right there, nigga, it tore me up. Like my homeboy said, he came upstairs and I was in my bed in Houston, hoodie on, sunshades on, and tucked in the corner, nigga, like out of there. Mm -hmm. And so, um, so it took me about a couple of days when I drove home from, when I drove home from Houston to Louisiana, it hit me harder. And so I come back and then, you know, I get, I sing a lot. I do a lot of background singing with bands. Yeah. So when I came home, I jumped back into singing background um, whenever I could. So that kind of like, that work kind of like kept me afloat. Yeah, and yeah. then I was working on the Kimmy Kush 2 project. So, yeah. you know, I had some things to, to hold me over or whatever, or just to keep me busy. And so uh, I dropped Kimmy Kush 2 on 416 so it was out by 420 mm -hmm. and my first single was me myself and Zai. of course that's self-explanatory just me myself and my motherfucking weed mm -hmm. and nobody else and you know what i'm saying like i don't need no help i don't need nobody around me this is just me and my one blunt mm -hmm. so that's what me myself and Zai did and so I, I did the video with uh nasa boy scrap um so we dropped that on, that was dropped by 420, okay. the video. So mm -hmm. go on YouTube, check out Me, Myself, and Zai by Kim McCoy. Because um, people be looking for Lady Kim, Lady Kim, Lady Kim. But Lady Kim is, 
is well known in Louisiana, but mm -hmm. the world know me as Kim McCoy because of the song I Miss You. Mm -hmm. So Lady Kim and Kim McCoy is the same people, you guys. Yes. <laughs> Even on Fat Records, it says featuring Lady Kim, yeah. but Lady Kim is actually Kim McCoy. Yeah. So uh, check that out. And then the second single I just dropped is called I Understand. Now that I Understand is really for men's mental awareness month that's what it was for june and so i dropped the song then and so we about to shoot the video as a matter of fact flocka is starring in the video flocka trent mm, is gonna be flock. yeah he's gonna be the guy in the video for i understand because the song is basically about you know what i'm saying um uh men going through things they go through heartbreaks too yes. you know what i'm saying like men go through shit mentally too you know what I'm saying? They always told to be the, the tough one. The men don't cry. Is that blah, 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 blah. My daddy cried. So seeing a man cry to me ain't, ain't like, man, this big nigga crying. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm. it's not that. So uh, I, I know for sure, even as a 43-year-old a woman, I know men go through things mentally and they get depressed too and they have anxiety, just like females. You know what I'm saying? It ain't just a female thing. Yes. So I understand that from... Um, from men and so that song reflects on a man having a broken heart having to start over and me just saying i understand like i've been through the same shit yes. even the death of a loved one you know what i'm saying like it, it it hits the song hit the song can hit anyway really yes and so i dropped that in june and then here we are july well no it's august now yeah God but july damn. essence and stuff like oh yeah went to essence fest oh we turned up for essence talk about that experience yeah we essence went. fest um we went to the BET, All the Queen's Men party with, um, I'm real good friends with one of the characters, Midnight. Yes. And That's so, uh, buff guy? Huh? Ain't he a buff guy? Yeah, he a buff guy yeah. with a bald head. He the, yeah. he the bad guy. He, he really, would, he really in the beginning of All the Queen's Men, was uh, Eva's right, man, right hand man, yeah. uh, Eva Marcel. Marcel, what's her name? Eva. Y'all know who the fuck she is. Madam, nigga. Yeah, that's what Madam, we call her. Secrets, Madam, bro. yeah. So um, that's one of my homeboys. We real cool. That's my dog, man. And so uh, they threw a BET All the Queen's Men party for Essence. And so that's what we popped out at. Mm. And so, you know, he, uh, he he loved BBW. So he had all the BBWs in the building. Mm -hmm. They was dressed to the, to the motherfucking guards. Their face was beat. Hair was laid. Yeah. Um, we kind of walked around with the fiery crab. Uh, it was lit. Essence was lit. Mm -hmm. And so um, I don't like that they call me auntie, though. Like, the fuck? Man, embrace yeah. it. Embrace <laughs> it. Like, you are the, yeah. you are the lady. Like, like, I don't know. Call me you. you went to the auntie fest. And I'm like, what's the auntie fest? Mm -hmm. uh, Essence. I'm but like, is, it, is it hard for you to accept who you are sometimes? Like you as are Lady Kim, like you are her, you are the lady, like you, the the artists, uh, you know, you broke barriers around this area. They know who you are. Yeah, yeah, I, it is hard to embrace that sometimes because I'm just me, you know. Yeah. And then uh, a person like me, I'm not. Even though I, I did all that, like I feel like I'm just not in the. Like where I want to be. Okay. Like I'm still saying, I'm even this, though it's two years later. I think I said that last. Something like something on the something on the on same the, yeah. yeah. I'm, I don't think we ever gonna be where we want to be. You know what I'm saying? So you right. You're like right. I, but once I reach a certain level, it's like I want more, and I get to that level, and then I'd be like, okay, what's next? And like all the time.